All right, time to think outside of the produce box. We've got Andrea Donsky, who's going to walk you through the aisles as though it's brand new. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning. So, so nice to see you. Let's break this down. We go to the same old tried and true. We do. Okay, so because we live in Canada, we're going to start over here. Because mm -hmm. we live in Canada, we can't grow produce all year round. No. Right? So what farmers do is when they can grow it, they'll grow it in abundance, and then they put it into a warehouse. And then they pull from it all year round. So that's why we can have butternut squash in the middle of January or February. Okay. So one tip would be to try different var varieties of the produce that you normally buy. So if you usually buy orange carrots, try purple or try yellow. If you buy red beets, try striped candy cane so beets. so cute. Aren't those I've had beautiful? Those. Those are lovely, yeah. Right, so they're a little bit more mild, right, when it comes to it. And perfect so, for Christmas, candy cane color. That's right, exactly. So you'd want to try different, especially squash, anything that's local, right? Potatoes, okay. etc. All right, so the next thing we have is this is rutabaga. This one scared me, and then <laughs> I, I cooked with it on the weekend. Because yeah. it feels like it's impossible to actually prep, but it's not. It's What's not. So, okay, so rutabaga is a mix between turnip and cabbage. It's part of the brassica family. So think broccoli, cauliflower, right? So it's got those antioxidants that can mm -hmm. help prevent certain types of cancers really healthy it has fiber and vitamin c as well so the skin is really thick so you want to peel it off it's got this waxy you have to. Yeah. So you got peel. It. Yeah, really easy and you could eat it raw, raw really? or you could cook it so what's great about rutabaga is that it's lower in carbohydrates so if you want to replace a potato with it you can so it's great for low carb diets it's like a chestnut almost i would never have thought to eat that raw that Isn't that great? Yeah. you can use it in dips which is another really good thing or you can make mashed rutabaga mm -hmm. instead of mashed potatoes mm -hmm. you can roast it you can bake it you can Some do so garlic. many things with it yeah i love it. it's one of my favorite vegetables and underappreciated okay have you ever tried jackfruit i have and by the way this can be 120 pounds this fruit oh my god exactly giant yeah, they're massive. Yep. massive largest tree fruit and it's huge so what's nice about jackfruit is that it's nutritious it's delicious and it's really trendy now and it's versatile and i'm going to explain why in a minute so jackfruit has vitamin C, it has fiber, magnesium, potassium, and antioxidants. So it's a lot of that nutrition. You could eat jackfruit ripe or unripe. When it's ripe, here, Dean, I'm going to have you try that. So this is a ripe jackfruit. Okay. So it's sweet. Here, Roger, there's some oh for you, gosh, too. Oh, my gosh, that's delicious. So it's, isn't that amazing? It's so like a it's lychee. Sweet. Right, exactly. It has that consistency. Mm. Oh, lovely. Yeah, a little mango in there. And a bit like a peach. Isn't yeah. that nice? So you mango. can eat it ripe. You can also eat it when it's unripe or green. It's called a young jackfruit. So what's nice about it and why it's so trendy is that it's a, it's, vegans are using savory. it now. Or people are mm. using it. Right, it's got a savory taste. Mm. But people are using it as a meat alternative. Delicious. So if you're trying to really reduce oh, that amount of yeah, animal yeah. protein, people, it's like a mock pulled pork. It tastes a little bit like chicken. So good. And that's what it looks like when it's uncooked. So you can get it fresh when it's in season, or you can have it in cans all year round. So this is Chaz Organics. It comes in their cans. They're, they're grown in Sri Lanka. They're organic, non-GMO. They're BPA-free cans, and they're easy to open because you don't even need a can opener. They've got Delicious. this little clip that you can Delicious. pick up. Delicious. Yeah, so good, right? That's really good. Okay, prickly pears or cactus, plant, uh, cactus fruit. Have you ever tried this? My dad no, makes it all the time. He's, okay. He peels them for us because it's very tricky. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You want to make sure you remove that peel. So what's nice about the cacti, the prickly pear cactus I'm fruit, please, it's anti-inflammatory, antiviral, vitamin C, fiber. And what's really cool about it is that for hundreds of years, it's been used as a hangover remedy. There you go, Ryan. Right? <laughs> 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 I'm going to go right to me on that one. Excuse me, I'll exactly. bring this home with me then. <laughs> so it's great because you can, you know, if you have a little too much alcohol and have a headache, you can juice it, drink prickly pear juice, you can grill it, or you can eat it raw. One of my favorites. Lots of fiber. Fruits. I love it. And then finally, persimmon. We also have these all the time. Do you? I, yeah, these I've had before. All right, so persimmon is in season now as well. What's nice, again, it's got that fiber, that vitamin C. It also has carotenoids like lutein and zeaxanthin, so they're really good for our eyes. It also has beta carotene. So please try it out. Mm -hmm. You can eat it raw, you can eat it dried, or you can eat it cooked. So good. Isn't that Almost amazing? Almost have like a pumpkin taste, but a sweetness. Right, mm -hmm. and a little pear too, I find. Little you and Bryce Wild have come up with a show. Is it called From A to B? <laughs> Andrea to Bryce? Andrea Bryce. So yeah, so <laughs> Bryce and I are teaming up for a Facebook show in 2019. So we created a Facebook page at Andrea and Bryce. We're really excited. So we want everyone Congrats. to like our page, please. You're both And watch so our great. videos. Oh, thank Beautiful. you. Congrats. Looking thank forward you. to that in 2019. Thank it's a good you. help. Right, thank I'm going to just go back to eating. Pick it outside yes. of the box in the so produce aisles. We'll be back with more BT right after this. Mm. So like good. a pear, right? A little bit? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.